Some matches are simply a test of your patience, and you'll win that battle of mental fortitude sometimes, and other days you're gonna lose. It's because naturally as humans, we want to find a pattern within that randomness, and a pattern doesn't always exist. We're looking for something that doesn't exist. Uh, so here to demonstrate that, I've got two matches that we need to take a look at. One of them, I succumb to the randomness and I just lose. And the other one, I'm able to calm the storm a little bit and prevail. But before we do, if you end up enjoying this video or any of the videos you might have seen on the channel in the past, please consider subscribing. It really does help me out and I appreciate it very much. Now, there's one of two ways you can really deal with players like this. People who are really in your face, doing a lot of pressure strings, canceling into DP to steal their turns back, kind of like what you're seeing right here. And they're just doing like, it's like a button check, right? They're just mashing buttons in your face. They're doing all kinds of special moves, jumping everywhere. And th there's two ways you can deal with it. One way is to kind of match that energy, run your offense. If you have a very solid offensive plan, you can usually run it on them because they have no defense. They're only concerned with uh, getting their offense going. So when you have them blocking, they don't know how to get out of it. So you can run your offense. You can just say, screw neutral. I'm going to play completely offensive. Now, I... I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at playing like that. I don't like playing like that. So I take a, a second method that was kind of taught to me by my friend Juices. I guess you call him my coach at this point. Um, and that is just ultimately playing more solid than them. And that sounds a little bit vague, so let me explain. When somebody's running at you, we're not playing neutral anymore, right? When somebody's random, they're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. We are not playing neutral. So what we can do is just block all the negative stuff they're doing. Block everything out. Punish when you can. If they jump, you anti-air. If they dash, you check the dash. And if they're right up in your face, most likely they're going to end whatever weird pressure sequence they're doing in some type of negative move and you just punish. It's a very slow and methodical and patient game, but if that's how you like to play, that's how you deal with it. Some people will take the offensive method and other people are going to want to block things out like I do. Now this guy's credit, he is nowhere near as random as that soccer player that we just watched, but there's glimpses of it. There's times where he's getting frustrated and he'll start randomly dash punching it and doing things like that, like right here. He's going to get knocked down, he's going to do it again. I don't punish properly because I'm still learning Chun, but you get the idea. Sometimes you have to recognize that, hey, we are not playing neutral anymore. This guy is just getting mad and he's going to keep jumping and he's going to keep dash punching and things are going to keep happening that you need to be able to punish because otherwise he's just going to keep doing them. And some people at this point will say, well, I'm going to keep running my offense. But for me, like I said before, I am much better at just playing calm and like uh, slowing it down. This is kind of what it looks like to play to your strengths rather than the last game against the soccer where I tried to switch it up and play a more offensive game that I just wasn't very good at. This is what happens when you play to your strengths. You're able to uh, win with not relative ease, but with a lot less effort. You know, I'm not really thinking about playing normal neutral now when he's doing things like this. Obviously, this is probably just a bad buffer. I try to do EX legs to punish it because I don't know what to punish that with, but unfortunately it didn't work. That super is very hard to punish because it pushes you back so far. At certain spacings though, you, you do get a pretty easy punish on certain characters. I just don't know what it is on Chun. I also didn't know she had a wall jump there. That was... <laughs> That was pretty wild. That was pretty wild that he was ready for it, too. There we get the, the random little dash punch in there. I get touched by it. He's whiffing a bunch of buttons in front of me in an effort to... I, he's probably buffering something behind it. That's what it is. That's probably how he got the super earlier, now that I'm thinking about it. I probably walked into a buffer, and uh, and it came out. There's another one right there. Uh, he he might have buffered that as well. Here, we're just kind of, you know, <laughs> we're just kind of brawling. And I happen to come out on top. Just remember there's one of two ways to deal with it. You can match that energy, you can match their offense if your character allows it, or if you feel comfortable playing that way, because they're probably going to be mashing in the middle of your block strings, and you'll just keep getting a bunch of counter hits, or they'll keep mashing on wake up and you'll get a bunch of meaties. Or if you're like me, you just hang back, play a little bit more solid, play a little bit more patient, and uh, take it as it's coming to you. You know, block, punish, anti your da uh, check the dashes, just play a little bit more solid and you'll probably be able to win. Let's not measure our progress in wins, I guess. You, you'll just be able to actually fight back against these kind of players by fighting less, if that makes sense, by just hanging back and playing a lot more solid. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing and let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I'll talk to you again very soon.